Hi, I'm Chris Gold with Geeks On Tour, and I want to show you how to use Google Takeout. If you use Google Photos, you're told that the way to download your entire library of photos is with Google Takeout. Even if you read my book, Learn Google Photos, I write, if you want to download all of your photos and videos from your Google account, your choices are limited. The tool that Google provides is called Takeout. It's easy to do, but the results are not easy to decipher. I want to try to, in this video, to try and clarify what I mean. The more photos you have, the messier takeout gets. So I'm going to demonstrate using this test account called Danny. And because Danny only has 10 pictures in his Google account, one video, actually one video and nine pictures. This is his entire Google account, Google photos account. I also want you to understand that every photo has a description. And this is one of the things that's a problem. When you take out, you don't get descriptions. So every photo here has a description. There was one photo, this black and white here, that I changed the date to make it look like it was taken in 1997. So these are all things I'm going to show you how Google Takeout deals with it. So there are one video, nine photos, and then there are two albums. And notice that some of the pictures are in both albums. These two photos are in the Teton, so they're both in the Chris and Jim's Travel album, and they are in the National Parks album. Okay, so what does Google Takeout mean? Well, for you can get there either by going to takeout.google.com or it's in your Google Photos settings under Export Your Data. Back up an archive of your data. If you click back up, it takes you to Google Takeout. Now, one thing it does though, which is really nice, it limits takeout to just Google Photos. And notice here where it says all photo albums included. I want to click there and just show you. There were only two albums, right? Chris and Jim's Travels and National Parks. But notice that it has concocted these other albums that it's going to take out, it has looked through Danny's library and found all the photos from 1997, 2013, 2018, and from trash, and any that were just in conversation. So you could just select, you know, you could deselect all and just select the ones you want, or Leave them all, I want to leave them all selected just so you see how it works. I click OK and next step. Send download link via email. That is what you want. This is just a one time thing for me. I don't want it to do it every month or every two months. It is going to put the data into a zip file and it will make those two gigabytes. That's fine for Danny. If you are using takeout for thousands of photos, you might want to select a bigger size of zip file so that you don't get so many files. Create export. It says Google is creating a copy of your files. This process might take a while. It will give me an email when it's done. So I will stop this now and I'll come back when I get the, when Danny gets the email. Okay, here we are at Danny's email and it says your Google data is ready to download. Your account, your data, we've finished creating the copy and download your files. 
You have to verify that it's you. And here is the files. Download. Because I'm in as Danny, it just downloads straight to the download folder rather than asking me where. So let me go get that and put it where I want it. So here is the file I just downloaded. Notice that it is a zip file. So I right click and extract all. On a Mac, that would just be a, a double click and extract. Now I have a takeout folder and a Google Photos folder and this HTML, I'll show you that in a minute, but I'm going to show you this folder. So there is a folder for each album that was in Danny's Google Photos. Here's the created album, Chris and Jim's Travels. Then there was the National Parks. All of these others are created by, by Google. Here is a folder with all photos from 1997, 2013, 2018, and even the trash. Notice that every file in Takeout was created today. I go into that Chris and Jim's Travel, everything was date modified was today. However, when I open the Jim and Tetons, and click on I for information, it does have the date taken as July 30, 2018. It maintained the date taken. It also maintained the location, but it does not have the description because that was something I added in Google Photos. So where do I find that description? That is in what's called the JSON file. If I open this, we'll just see a bunch of text that you will see somewhere in here. There is the description. Changes made to photos data in Google Photos are not stored with the JPEG. They're stored in a separate JSON file. If you want to merge the JSON data back to the JPEG, you need to use a third-party utility like Metadata Fixer or EXIF tool. Now let's go take a look at that archive browser HTML that came along with Takeout. When I open that, this is a table of contents, if you will, an overview of the Takeout data. It tells me that there are 48 files. But remember, Danny only had 10 pictures. So where is it? This gives you a little bit of information about the export. Here, exported files shows you it has downloaded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different folders. Two of those were the albums and the rest are folders that Takeout created. Let's take a look. If I open up Jim and Chris's travels, I see the two JPEGs plus three JSONs, one of which is the metadata for the album, for the folder, and the other two are metadatas for the actual JPEGs. So this tab allows you to see everything everything that was there. And notice that there are duplicates. There's Jim and Tetons in the National Parks folder as well as in the Jim and Chris's Travels folder. There is the water taxi, both the edited and the original. Realize that too. Any photos that you edit will be downloaded twice, the original and the edited and 2013 and 2018 also has Jim and Tetons. So Jim and Tetons has been downloaded to your computer three times. So I'm hoping that understanding exactly what Takeout is doing helps you decide whether or not you want to use it. So what if disaster should strike and Danny loses all of the photos from his Google Photos account. How does he get them back from the takeout 
archive on his hard drive. Well, there is no restore function, but you can get them back. Let me show you how. I have set up the screen so that you see Danny's Google Photos on the right-hand side of the screen, and on the left-hand side, you see the Google Takeout archive from his hard drive. All you have to do is drag and drop. So I would even like to recover the albums. I just drag over Chris and Jim's travels. I backed up two items and couldn't back up three. Those are the JSONs. It can't put JSONs into your Google Photos, only the JPEGs. Okay. And I click Add to Album, and I make a new album called Chris and Jim's Travels. So now I have the pictures restored and the album. Let's do another one. Let's do that National Barks. Once again, it can't upload the JSON files, but it did upload the JPEGs, the photos. And I make a new album called National Parks. Now remember those two pictures, the one of Jim at the Tetons and the one of Jim and Chris on the raft in the Tetons were in both the Jim Chris and Jim's Travels, and National Parks. So do I have duplicates? If I just go and look at the photos in Danny's Google Photos, no, I do not have duplicates. Why? Because Google Photos does not upload exact duplicates, and these were exact. And yet I do have the National Parks album that has the two photos in it, and I have the Chris and Jim's Travels that has those two photos in it. Now, in case there were any other photos, I could go ahead and drag the photos from 1997. These I don't want to put into an album, though, and from 2013. And from 2018. Yeah, notice that all the ones that cannot be backed up are JSONs. No big deal. And we're done. He has all 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All 10 of his images back plus his two albums. Admittedly, this is a lot more difficult when you have thousands of pictures, but hopefully this gave you the idea of what you can do with Google Takeout. In review, takeout.google.com can download your Google Photos library. Takeout creates an album for you every year with all photos from that year. You can download all of your albums or select specific albums. Metadata that you add using Google Photos will be downloaded in separate JSON files. That's added descriptions or change dates. There is no restore feature, but you can upload to Google Photos from the takeout folders if you lose your photos in your Google Photos account.